Hi guys, Sean from Optics Warehouse. So today we've got the brand new Pulsar range of thermal images. This is the Axion series. So I'm going to give you some quick features about them. Also tell you the specs and draw some comparisons with the older models. So just a quick introduction into thermal technology. Uh, thermal images detect heat and they can be used in the day. As you can see, we've got two models of thermals on the table today. We should actually have a third, which is the Axion Key, and that's the one which is missing, and that's in the XM30. Here we have the XM30 Axion, and this one is the Axion XM38. One of the key features of the Axion series is a smaller thermal resolution, but the improved pixel pitch. So the 320 by 240 thermal resolution is paired with now a 12 pixel pitch. A 12 pixel pitch will give an overall smaller size to the thermal imager. As opposed to the previous models in the Quantum Light and the Helion series, which were 17 pixel pitches, the models are much larger in size. New Axions with this 12 pixel pitch actually gives an overall smaller size to the unit. As you can see, it's very small, fits in the hand very well, and it's around 300 grams, depending on which model. In many ways, the Axion XM30 and the X Axion XM38 are new models in their own rights. They haven't really got any crossover with the Quantum Light series and haven't really got much of a crossover to the Helions. So when it comes down to displays, the Axion XM30 key has a 920 by 760 LCOS display and is the cheapest in the range in the Axion series. Both the Axion XM30 and Axion XM38 both have an AMOLED display, which is a HD micro display that gives a resolution of 1024 by 768. So if you're trying to draw some comparisons from previous models, probably the easiest comparison to draw is the Axion XM30 key to the Quantum Light series. The Quantum Light series was available in the 23 and the 30, Pulsar have now stopped the two sizes of front lenses. This is probably down to the popularity. And they are now just doing one size front lens, which is the 30. The Axion Key is different to the other Axions. So the Axion Key XM30 comes with a two and a half times optical mag. But when you compare it to the more expensive Axion XM30, the Axion XM30 comes with a 4.1 times magnification, which gives an overall, if you include the digital mag of four times, up to 16. So there is a difference between the two in terms of optical mag and overall magnification of the unit. The Axion key also does not come with all the extra features of stream vision and Wi-Fi. So it really is just a cut down unit, which is there to give you the best thermal recognition, thermal mapping that you can get at under £1,300. New to the Axion series of thermal images, they've come up with the new APS3 battery packs, which is a small, tiny little battery pack, gives around a four hour runtime. And nice and simple, you have a push button here, and you literally just push it out, and it's a nice cylinder battery pack. It gives you enough time to be able to get out in the field. You obviously can buy these as an extra as well. They also do a slightly larger uh, running time battery pack, uh, but they are supplied with standard with the free. So it's nice and easy, a bit like a camcorder in many ways. You have your on, you've got your menu, you've got your up and your down arrow. So that's just, it allows you to flick through the menu nice and easily and allows you, if you push the down at the same time, gets you into the record mode and they, they actually have an internal memory system so it records straight onto the device and you just plug it into your computer or you can actually get it to stream straight onto your phone using the stream vision which is only available on the non-key models a nice touch is a little lens cap the lens cap obviously keeps front lens uh, dry and clean but save it flapping around what they've done nice and easy on the hand strap little magnet and that just keeps it from flapping around while you're out in the field Good work from Pulsar, to be honest, on these new Axion series. It is, it is actually a very nice improvement, especially on the key. Uh, there is a definite improvement over the Quantum Lights. Much smaller size, better battery life, and just overall a nice, neat 
unit. So I hope that cleared up some questions about the Pulsar Axion series. If you want any further information, remember, give us a call, drop us an email, keep liking the videos and subscribing to the channel, and we'll keep the videos coming.